the deacon ministry of Parkwood Baptist Church. It's one of the most significant undertakings in the life of this fellowship for the work of the gospel. The persons you see before you this morning are those whom this congregation has identified to come forward and be appointed to the work of the ministry of this church for the coming year. And that ministry serves as a support and expression of the pastoral care in this fellowship. It assists me and the other pastors in our work with the entire congregation and also in our community. Uh, They also assist and plan and coordinate some of our most significant services, like communion, like baptism. Their work in praying for each of us is indispensable. And their role of keeping up with each of us as the year progresses is perhaps the most important. Just checking in. It matters. And so this morning, we celebrate and ordain and install our deacons for this coming year to this very important ministry. And I'd like to read a a portion of scripture uh, that captures what it means to serve in the ministry of a deacon. Deacons must be above reproach. Married to only one person, of course. That was a joke, right? (laughs) Temperate, prudent, respectable, hospitable, Not pugnacious, but gentle, peaceable, and free from the love of money. Deacons must come with a good reputation with all those who are outside the church so that they will not fall into reproach and the snare of the devil. They must be persons of dignity and not double-tongued or addicted to much wine or attracted to sordid gain. In other words, they're to hold to the mystery of the faith with a clear conscience. They must be tested and above reproach. This is the language that the early church used to describe the character of those invited to do the work of the ministry of the gospel. And today we acknowledge that work here. I'm going to invite our two ordinands to the deacon ministry forward now. Joanne and Kathy, if you'd stand here. I want to share with you an invitation to which I would ask that you respond, we are willing. We've heard from Scripture that a deacon is called to serve. The church sets apart those by the laying on of hands who will come and serve this fellowship. This congregation will set you apart today. Are you willing to accept this call? Amen. Congregation, I would invite you to extend your arms in a prayer of blessing and ordination 
over these two who come. Let us pray. Almighty God, we praise you and glorify you because you have sent your only Son, Jesus Christ, to be the servant of all. And because Jesus, who has died and risen and is reigning this day, calls men and women to follow him and to do the work of his ministry. We ask you, O Lord, to anoint these, your servants, with your Holy Spirit, as we ordain them in your name to share in the ministry of Christ. Send upon them your spirit of wisdom to share in the good news of forgiveness of sin, to seek healing for those who are broken, to send your power to challenge all who oppress, to be faithful in times of trial and testing, and always abounding in hope, to be filled with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, to whom be glory and honor and praise forevermore. Amen. Thank you. If the rest of the deacon ministry would please stand as well. You can just line up along here. Very nice crowd, right? I put to you a similar question. She will answer, we will. Deacons, will you faithfully perform your duties as deacon of Parkwood Baptist Church? And will you commit to serve this congregation as unto the Lord? Thank you. If the congregation would please rise. If you will respond, we will, and then again, we do. As a church family, will you commit to pray for these deacons and encourage them in their service to the Lord? Do you as a congregation stand united in appointing these as deacons, and do you stand ready to help them when it is needed, forgive when mistakes are made, and love them as Christ commanded. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.